Hey guys, Andy here. I received in my post today uh, my Auto Kicker Loader 30 litre tail roll top and saddlebag system for motorbikes. I got it on Amazon, Amazon Prime, $54.99. Well, I actually got it 37 something because it was Amazon Warehouse. I'm assuming someone basically changed their mind and sent it back. It's kind of an alternative to the Krieger US system. I've got a US 10 litre, US 10, I should say. Um, and this came recommended. Waterproof luggage is sometimes it's quite you know it can be quite expensive, can be quite hard to find decent ones, uh, and this one had been recommended. Uh, I found inside, as you can see, there's there's a variety of straps and clips. I think that one there, the last one's come out, was kind of can, can make it be used as a shoulder strap. Um, to make it waterproof, you roll up the top because zips obviously can't really be properly waterproof. So all waterproof, ones, almost all waterproof ones, I think, roll instead of zip, and then you clip them into place. There are a lot of straps on this bag, and it I won't like it confused me for a little while exactly how it worked. And I'm still a little confused by it. there's a couple of straps that kind of come upwards. So I thought, well, I'll use them as a handle, I guess. I mean, you could sort of sling that over your shoulder as well if you wanted. Um, other people said you can use it to strap underneath the rear seat, but I tried that and just didn't work, which you'll see in a moment. So obviously you need to remove your rear seat or your, well, whatever you've got there, um, and then we're going to try and strap the bag to it. Uh, so there's there's all the straps are plenty long enough. I think you can kind of, I don't know if daisy chain would be the right word in this sort of instance, but you can strap multiple ones onto the same seat. And almost all of the straps go all the way around. They're not sort of stitched into the bag. They literally go through kind of the back of the bag, which I think will make them stronger. You, you know, you're not going to worry about losing the stitching and the, and the strap coming off and the bag flying off. Um, so here's with the extra weird front, top velcroed round underneath and it, I just couldn't get it to to lock into place I think the extra straps were getting in the way basically so I thought okay let's let's get rid of the extra strip straps um, and actually I, I did the the other strap up a bit tighter and uh, and had another go and generally then it was a lot easier it clipped into place but because it's only got the one strap there's, there's quite a lot of movement up front and back. I mean, it's, it's still safe, I think. It's not going to come off because the strap itself is going through underneath the seat. But I was a bit worried how much it wobbled. So then I thought, well, actually, look, we've got a, we've got a clip at the front here. Let's let's loop that underneath the strap on the rear seat. Now, not everybody's going to have one of them. So you might be stuck with it wobbling around back and forth like that. Or you just need to, maybe I just need to, to strap it tighter. Um, there we go. Off, off I went. It, I made it all the way to the gym. And, and my gym kit was still there when I got there, which I was quite pleased about. Fantastic. Um, and then the next thing I realized, actually, it's really easy to take it off. Once you're taking the back seat off, you just slide the seat out because obviously the Velcro doesn't need to change. The next thing I realized, all the excess, because there are really long straps, um, I guess, like I say, so you can put more than one on. All the straps kind of tuck away back inside the sort of the bag. So they've put that, um, initially I thought it was a little pocket on the outside there, but it's not. It's, it's for you to tuck the straps back into. Um, not so easily done with one hand, sorry, but... I get, I get there eventually, and that generally just makes the bag look a lot neater. Because obviously, as important to a big airy bikers is how neat your tail pack looks. Um, so there you go. I mean, I've not really tested it in the rain yet, of course. I mean, I might do this coming weekend, but uh, if we if we take it as green that it is waterproof, actually, it's a really neat bag. Thirty liters. It's got that extra sort of pouch on the back you can see there. Velcro and it's got a zipper one on the top. Neither of those will be waterproof, but the internal bits will be waterproof. And I thought actually for, for £55 a 30 litre tail pack like that, really quite nice. With lots of reflective strips too. Let me know your thoughts though in the comments down below. My name's Andy. I'll catch you all again soon.